Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. In today's video, we're going to address that guy and how he doesn't understand how compasses work. As always, before we get started, a big thank you to all my Patreons and their continuous support. I would also like to thank Astro FP for designing the thumbnail for this video. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. What's up everybody, that guy again? Just reading over the, again, insufferably ignorant comments from the Glowtards, and um, I understand the fatal mistake they're making when it comes to the compass and the globe. They're assuming the compass needle is pointing in a curved line. I'll survey said. No, that guy. We never said that. Never, 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 never said that. What we do say is that the compass aligns with the magnetic field from the planet itself. Just like in this image, you can see the lines for the magnetic field and that's what the compass aligns with. Of course, this is just a representation because we can't see the lines. And I think I know where you're getting at. It's not correct, but I think I understand where you're getting at. You think there's a specific point on the North Pole, a very small area in your flat earth or something, that the needle should be pointed towards. And that's not how it works. That's not how anything of this works. Again, with the two-dimensional thinking, how can you not realize you live on a 3D world and things are not plain? Not even the magnetic waves. It just baffles me. Instead of looking at a compass needle that, you know, is like this long and saying, you know, when it's pointing straight ahead, instead of saying, hey, that needle's pointing that way, the globe tard says, oh, the needle's pointing that, that way. Show me one globe proponent that has said that and I'll apologize because I've never seen any of them, like any of them, say anything close to that. Come on, be a little bit more honest. So if, if this is the compass needle and that's north, the globe tard will just say north is here. Again, I get it that you don't get it. But what you don't realize is that the needle points in the general direction of the north. It's not the true north, by the way. The true north is about a thousand miles away, give or take a couple of miles. It's just the general direction. And it doesn't have to follow the curve because it's aligned with the magnetic lines of the planet. As if the needle is pointing Instead of drawing a straight line off the end of the compass needle, they just draw a curved line and assume their entire argument. Okay, let's try this again. Look at this road. If you were instructing anyone to drive through this road, would you say they have to drive down and up? Or would you say they have to drive straight? Yes, you'd say straight, so drive straight. You'd go up and down in elevation, which is still a curve, as you can see, but you'd say drive straight. If you're not an idiot and you understand what a compass is doing. The irony is strong with this one, Obi-Wan. When it's pointing straight ahead, like if I point my finger, it would be pointing at the camera now. Whoa, now there, cowboy. Didn't your mother tell you it's rude? To point. Besides, your finger is far from straight, isn't it? It's kind of crooked and you can't actually see where you're pointing at because although you might want to point ahead, it's all crooked. That doesn't mean you do Like I said, crooked. Look at that. Ah! Just draw an arbitrary line wherever you need to off the end of my finger and say north is here like the globe tards doing. Stop saying that because we don't say that. Prove it. Don't claim it, just prove it. 
So if you put a compass on a globe and draw a straight line, you know, where the needle is actually pointing straight, you'll understand that you can't have magnetic north in the southern hemisphere. Where is he getting this information? What is he smoking? That's definitely not the cigar. It can't be, right? Of course we know we can't have the magnetic north in the southern hemisphere. What, what are you... Ah, ah let's continue. Because these lines would never intersect. If this is the northern hemisphere, all the lines of north will intersect under Polaris, above magnetic north. That's how you know where magnetic north is. Look, that guy. The magnetic north is not the true north. Look at this image. As you can see, the geographic north is at the center, the black dot. And the blue dots are the locations of the magnetic north pole throughout the years. As you can see, in the 1900s, it was closer to Canada. And now it's slowly moving towards Siberia. But as soon as you cross the equator, now the north lines would never intersect and the south lines intersect showing where magnetic south is which does not happen in reality because we always and only use magnetic north you keep talking as if oh my god i got it you think the needle in the compass is attracted to the north pole that's it isn't it well let me tell you a big secret, buddy. It's not. It's attracted to the South Pole. Want to know why? Okay. The magnetic field always travels from the North Pole of a magnet to the South Pole of a magnet. The same goes for the magnetic field of the Earth. A compass needle points north because the North Pole of the magnet inside it is attracted to the South Poles of the Earth's magnet. In other words, the needle is attracted to the South Pole and the other direction we look at is the North Pole. And never Magnetic South. Magnetic North is always a single point. Another thing the globe tard seems to not grasp. Magnetic North is a single point of attraction. I knew it. I called it. He thinks the North Pole is attracting the needle when it's the other way around. It's the South Pole. Well, the magnetic South Pole, that is. How do we know this? Because we f***ing circle it. You can circle Magnetic North. The compass will stay fixed on it, proving for a f***ing fact it's a single point. Well, it will do exactly the same thing on the South Pole. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, right. I forgot. You're a flat earther, aren't you? So, uh, we can't go there, right? That's it. Since your compass always stays fixed and always shows magnetic north, it's always a single point. On the globe, as I just described, as soon as you go to the southern hemisphere, you no longer have a single point. Draw straight lines, straight lines, because that's where the compass is f***ing pointing, straight ahead. I'm just guessing, but I think you're one of those I'm a literal kind of guy. Okay, let's run a little thought experiment. Now, let's say on this map, I want to go from this location to this location. As you can see, there's a curve. But if I tell you, and you're asking me for directions, you just need to go straight. If you are as literal as you are being here, I'm going to guess you're going to go straight ahead. I know this is silly, but it's as silly as the argument as you are using right now. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You might start thinking logically if you start drawing straight lines. Right. Instead of whatever the f your brain is thinking and believing, you don't just draw a line from the tip of the compass needle and say, oh no, it's going here. Repeating yourself much, bud? You know repetition doesn't make you right. This, this imaginary line that I'm drawing is curved to fit your narrative. 
It's stupid. People have to start thinking instead of assuming their entire argument. Can you please stop with the irony? My viewers are going to get fed up with me using this meme all the time. The compass needle follows magnetic lines. Wait, what? Oh, he got it. He, he actually got it this time. Yay! No, a compass needle's this long. Oh, I'm disappointed. I really thought he'd got it. And the compass is in your hand. It's not following sh I know this is the first time I've addressed that guy, but is he really this thick? He doesn't understand that the meaning of following may vary depending on the context. Does he not get that when we say following the, the magnetic lines, we mean a line to them in the same direction? It, oh. the pain! No! It's pointing where it's pointing. Like my finger is pointing that way. I'm not so sure about that. Let's test that, shall we? So the finger on your right hand is pointing in this direction, and the finger on your left hand is pointing in this direction. They don't seem to line up like you say. After this, it just goes on and on about the same old thing, and it just, it just goes back to the, the beginning and the same arguments. For that reason, this is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you on my next video. And just to finish, a showcase of all my viewers who have bought my t-shirt. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and follow me on Twitter.